Hugh Marlowe. Hugh Marlowe, born Hugh Herbert Hippel, January 30, 1911, May 2, 1982, was an American film, television, stage, and radio actor. Early life and career. Marlowe was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was born Hugh Herbert Hippel. He was of primarily English ancestry, his family having been in what is now the northeastern United States since the early colonial period. Hippel had several ancestors in the Mayflower. Through his father, he was descended from Miles Standish through Standish's son Alexander Standish, and he was also descended from Iskaladin and Iskaladin Jr., an American Revolutionary War hero Ichabod Alden, through whom he is descended from John Alden. Through his mother, he was descended from John Endicott. He began his stage career in the 1930s at the Pasadena Playhouse in California, first under his birth name, then as John Marlowe. He was first seen on the Broadway stage in New York City in Arrest at Woman 1936 permanently settling on Hugh Marlowe as his stage name. His Broadway appearances included Kiss the Bars Goodbye, The Land is Bright, Lady in the Dark, Aura, and Duet for Two Hands. In 1939 and 1940, Marlowe was a voice actor in two network radio programs. He performed the role of Jim Curtis in the soap opera Brenda Curtis, and he played the title character in the first radio version of The Adventures of Ellery Green. Film and Television Career Marlowe was usually a secondary lead or supporting actor in the films he appeared in. His first film was Brilliant Marriage, 1936. His films included Meet Me in Street Louis, 1944. For a time, he worked regularly for 20th Century Fox, appearing in 12 O'Clock High, 1949, All About Eve, 1950, Night and the City, 1950, The Daily Death Stood Still, 1951, Rawhide, 1951, and Howard Hawks Monkey Business, 1952. His later films include Earth vs. The Flying Saucers, 1956, Elma Gantry, 1960, Budman of Alcatraz, 1962, and Seven Days in May, 1964. Marlowe played a real person, the Reverend William Hyatt, in the 1956 episode Dig or Die, Brother Hyde of the Religion Anthology series, Crossroads. In the 1957 episode, John Nick Hunker called Jim, set in 1883, Marlowe plays the Reverend Jacob Stuckey, who is dispatched to the mission at the Winnebago Reservation. Marlowe guest starred in the 1961 episode Maybury on record of CBS The Andy Griffith Show. In 1962, he played the part of Sam Garner in the episode The Pitch Again on CBS Rawhide. Marlowe made six guest appearances on CBS Perry Mason, starring Raymond Burr. Among those roles, he was cast as district attorney and Mason client Brando Harris in the case of the fraudulent Furtur, 1959, and as murder victim commander James Page in the case of the slandered submarine, 1960. He also played murder victim Ernest Stone in the case of the nebulous nephew 1963, adopt Lambert in the case of the sleepy slayer in 1963, and murder Guy Mumford in the case of the hasty honeymoon in 1965. In 1964, Marlowe appeared as Clay Billings and the Virginian in the episode The Intruders. Marlowe also performed as Donald Burton, a newspaper reporter, on a 1965 episode of Hazel titled Hazel's Day in Court and his pretentious TV documentarian Binbridge Wells and Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea 1966. In later years, Marlowe was a regular on the NBC television daytime drama Another World, the last of four actors who portrayed Matthews' family patriarch Jim Matthews. Marlowe played the role from 1969 until his death in 1982. Marlowe is often mistaken for lookalike actor Richard Carlson. Though the two men share a remarkable resemblance, they were not related. Personal life Marlowe was married three times, each time to an actress. Between 1941 and 1946, he was married to Edith Atwater. Between 1946 and 1968, he was married to K.T. Stevens, with whom he had two sons, Jeffrey and Christian. From 1968 to his death, he was married to Rosemary Torrey, with whom he had one son, he Michael Roman II. Marlowe died in 1982 from a heart attack at the age of 71 and was buried at Frankhoof Cemetery and Mausoleum in Hartsdale, Westchester County, New York. Partial Filmography Brilliant Marriage, 1936, Richard G. Taylor, Woman 3, It Couldn't Have Happened But It Did, 1936, Edward Forrest, Married Before Breakfast, 1937, Kenneth, Between Two Women, 1937, Priest Marriage is a Private Fair, 1944, Joseph I, Murdered Mrs. Parkinson, 1944, John Mark B. Meet Me in Street Lady, 1944, Colonel Dotley, Come to the Stable, 1949, Robert Bob Mason, 12 O'Clock High, 1949, Lieutenant Colonel Ben Gately, Night and the City, 1950, Adam Dunn, All About Eve, 1950, Lloyd Richards, Rotted, 1951, Mary of Simmon, Miss Belvedere, Rinse the Bell, 1951, Never and Charles Walsh, in the day the earth stood still 1950 when Tom Stevens bugles in the afternoon 1952 Captain Edward Garner diplomatic in 1952 narrator Varus uncredited way till the sun giants Nelly 1952 a Jordan monkey business 1952 hand in thistle way of a gotcha 1952 Don Medell on at the stand at Apache River 1953 Colonel Morris B. Casanova's big night 1954 Stefano die gambit a garden of evil 1954 John Fuller illegal 1955 Ray Broad and world with it then 1956 John Bowden earth the flying saucers 1956 stopped at Russell at Marvin the 
Black Whip 1956, Law and Prophet Elm Gantry 1960, Ever and Philip Cass in the Lawnmower 1960, One Jonas Stone, Bertman of Alcatraz 1962, Albert Kumsock 13, Fried and Girls 1963, John Hull 7 Days in May 1964, Harold were first in Hazel of Evil 1966, Stock Pozel had to steal the world 1968, Grand Arc of Footage to the Last Shot You Hear 1969, Charles Nordic. Radio Appearances Lux Radio Theatre 1952 episode Come to the Stable 